Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, what I want to do today is I want to show you guys how to create a comp card for yourself using Adobe Photoshop. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is that if you guys don't have Adobe Photoshop, definitely get Adobe Photoshop. It's one of the best tools that you can use um, to create comp cards, manipulate images and all that kind of stuff. Now, I know not everyone can afford to have Adobe Photoshop. But if you're a student, you can actually get a student discount for Adobe Photoshop. And I believe it's, I want to say $9.99 per month. So it's pretty affordable. Um, you can also download a free trial. And I'm going to leave the link to the description uh, in the description box down below. You can download a free trial of Adobe Photoshop um, on their websites. So, and you can use it for 30 days for free. So anyway, so let's get to the comp card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Photoshop here and I'm just going to go to file new and you know with Adobe Photoshop there are all these custom settings and all this kind of stuff um, but we're creating a comp card and typically a comp card is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Um, so I've already kind of preset that and another thing you want to keep in mind is that the DPI um, the dots per in, uh, per inches has to be about 300 resolution um, and that's because obviously if you make a comp card you're probably going to want to get it printed and when you try to get it printed a lot of these print warehouses are going to ask you that uh, they're going to ask you for a 300 dpi image so if your resolution is lower than 300 dpi they're going to tell you hey we can print it but your, your quality of the picture is going to suck so you want to make sure that you know your dpi is at 300 so go ahead and um, make sure the settings are okay and just hit create. So the first thing I'll do is that I hit command. Uh, I hit the command button to kind of get this grid. What you could also do is that you could um, come to view and you could say uh, show grid. Okay. So then next I'm going to create a shape and give it a color like a light gray or something like that maybe this gray yeah and the cool thing about it is that when you create the shapes um, and you can just kind of drag drag and drop these grids they kind of um, they snap to the grids right so these lines kind of snap to the grid so you don't go over it right or you don't end up in the middle so you can kind of snap it like that um, so I want to create a shape that's about I'll say this big right um, you want to make sure that there is no border color on here and again if you need to change the color you can come to the fill and select your color okay create a new layer and maybe this time I'm going to create another shape here and I'm going to color it let's give it a yellow Cool. And now I'm going to bring in my photo. So I actually have a couple of pictures that I've looked at already. Um, I think this photo here probably makes the most sense for the front of the comp card. So that's what I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and drag this into the canvas. Okay, let me hide the grid by hitting the command button again. And let me squeeze this down a little bit. Now the cool thing again is that everything kind of snaps to the grid. So if I take it off center and I try to center it, I just need to drag it a little bit. And then you can see that purple line, the purple ver vertical line, that's indicating that it's the center of the canvas. So I'm snapping this to the center and I should probably try to, uh, I guess this is fine, let's see. Okay, cool. So the next thing I want to do is that this photo looks a little bit too long to me for the design that I have in mind. So what I want to do is that I want to um, sort of crop it or cut it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is to um, first of all get my eraser tool and just hit that and it's going to tell you this smart object must be rasterized before proceeding. Edits contents will no longer be available. Rasterize the smart object. Hit OK. 
Now I'm going to create, um, I'm going to get a box, a selector tool. Sorry, I'm going to use a rectangular marquee tool and sort of highlight the area that I want to cut out. I think that's good. Then I'm just going to hit delete. Okay, cool. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do here is, first of all, bring this down a little bit. Yeah, I think that's about good. So the next thing I'm going to do here is that I want to create another shape similar to the one, this yellow shape that I created at the bottom. So, use my grid again. Let's make a shape like this. And I'm going to also give it the, color, the same color, the yellow. Now what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to change the opacity, sorry, not the opacity, the, the blend mode of this shape. Let's do an overlay. So you kind of get that cool highlighted effect. So now what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to um, obviously put in my name because you have the front of the comp card. So I'm using, uh, let's use a font called Caviar Dreams. So this is a font that I downloaded and I could probably share the link with you guys as well at the end of this video. So let's use this and I actually want to use a different font for my last name. So let's use Adam CG Pro and maybe even make it slightly bigger, right? So now you have that and then I'm going to space it out a little bit. So let's see. So if I did that, it's going to be too much spacing. And I want it to kind of overlap a little bit. So I'm trying to look for a number that works for me here. Let's come down to see what that looks like. 48, maybe that could work. Let's do 52. Perfect. Okay. So again, I'm going to try to center this. And actually, now that I look at it, maybe this feels a little bit too big of a font. Like they both feel slightly too big. So let's come down to about 48 and let's come down here to about a 60, All right? And then here, let's bring this down to a 40. Let's see what that looks like. Nope, let's do 44. Okay, perfect. So now again, I'm going to try to center this versus snap. There it is. And I actually want to offset the last name a little bit. So I'm going to hit the tab there. And then again, try to center this whole thing. Boom. So there you have it. Um, this is the front of the comp card. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty kind of modern and whatnot. So um, this should definitely work. So now let's go to the back of the comp card, guys. All right, guys. So now for the back of the comp card, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hit File New. And then, you know, same settings. Usually Photoshop should save the settings as last time. Uh, five and a half by eight and a half. Uh, but what I'm going to do this time around is I want to actually make this a black background. Um, obviously, black is six zeros in um, hex code. You hit OK, create. So now we have a black background. So now um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring in my image. Where is the image? Image I'm going to use for the back is this one. Uh, when you're creating a comp card, the front of the comp card should be a headshot, a close-up of your face, and the back of the comp card should be a full body shot. So in this case, this is uh, what I have here. So I'm going to drag this into the canvas, and I'm going to uh, resize this a little bit to create room for the info that's going to go 
at the bottom. All right. So I think uh, this looks good to me. Except what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more space at the bottom for my size and details and all of that. So I'm just going to create another rectangle here and give it a black color. Mm, let's drag this down a bit. Okay. And <clears throat> from the front of the comp card, remember we did sort of like a, a Polaroid look and feel with this um, gray and yellow tone or whatever. So I want to carry that same look and feel or you know some of the elements from that front of the card to the back of the card. So it's it looks like it goes together. So I'm also going to create another one, another rectangle shape. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add um, the size and information. Um, And usually when you do that, you know, you want to select a font that's um, pretty easy to read. And usually the font should stay small. So now when you're making a comp card, um, there are two types of comp cards. There's comp cards that has one image on both sides. So you have two pictures and there's a comp card that has one image on the front and four images, three to four images on the back that kind of shows a variety and a range of what you do. Uh, what types of modeling you get into, whether it's fitness, commercial, lifestyle, etc. Um, but most of the high fashion agencies, they actually prefer one picture in the front, one picture in the back. And then if they, if you, if the client needs to see more, they can come back to the website or they can request to see your portfolio, etc. So um, for this instance, I'm going to create one picture uh, comp card in the front and back. However, on my website, I'm going to give you guys access to free templates that has um, this template that I'm creating for you guys and also another template that has four images on the back. So feel free to go on my website and download download those templates for absolutely free. There's no strings attached. I'm not selling you guys anything. I'm just doing this for you guys so you guys can um, add this to your toolbox. All right, so now um, I'm going to add in the contact information and my size and information. And I'm going to choose a much smaller font size than that. So let's go maybe like a nine. Let's see how that works. So, oops, I shouldn't be writing in black. I should be writing in white. Okay, so, yeah, so something like this, guys. I mean, you can definitely play with it. Um, try to be more creative than I, than I am here. Um, and just make it your own. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick, simple way to create um, a comp card. Um, what are some of the specs and the requirements to create those comp cards and what goes into it. Um, don't forget guys, I'm going to leave links in the description box down below where you can download this template and another template that I'm creating for you guys, absolutely free. All right guys, so this is how you create the comp card. Um, again, you just, you know, again, once you're done, just hit file, save as. Um, and save it as a PDF and this way you can send it off to your printer and your printer can print this for you. Uh, you can also just save it as a JPEG and use these as digitals. Um, again, if you guys like this video, hit me with a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to um, subscribe as well if you're new to my channel. Um, I make weekly content about um, the modeling industry, you know, fitness, lifestyle, and you know, I also make some awesome travel vlogs as well. So feel free to check out some of my other videos. Um, and then again, don't forget, go to my website, download this template, um, download Adobe Photoshop for free, Try give a, a 30 day trial, see how you like it. And if you guys have any questions, definitely hit me up in the comment box down below. Um, if you have any other suggestions or topics you'd like to see, uh, drop me a notes down below as well and I'll definitely um, respond to you guys. I appreciate the love, appreciate the support. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, stay tuned for more content. See you guys next time.